a little nervous, good nervous, to meet Kelly and Judy for the first time. I've never met them. I feel like I will be a little bit starstruck when I first see her. Tonight is first meeting, and I feel really excited because it's the first time I get to finally meet these ladies that we have only seen online. Her coming in was like angels coming in. Oh my goodness, y'all, it's so great to see you in person. First of all, welcome to training camp. What we're about to embark upon is us selecting world-class dancers and equally important can be great ambassadors for our organization. We've never had week one with just rookies. This is a first. This is new for you. A lot of it's new for us, too. We've never had a first meeting in a hallway at a hotel. <laughs> in a few days, 29 veterans are going to walk through these doors. They will come storming in, and they want their place back on this squad. That will make the competition level more difficult for you all. We have 20 of y'all, that's 49, and that's our largest training camp class. Our squad is 36. That leaves 13 people that will not make this team. You know, there is a great possibility that I will be cut. There's so many people who would love to be sitting in those seats that we were sitting in tonight. Group one is Claire D, Danny, Delora Rose, Tori, Jada. We are going to be breaking up the girls into four groups. That way, we can be socially distanced and still be able to have a great rehearsal. You go by Cassie, right? Yes. I feel for you because her daughter's named Cassie, so she's very good at screaming. <laughs> I can yell that name <laughs> really loud. If we can have everyone exit and group one stay here. Thank you. The ladies have learned 17 dances before even reporting to this phase of training camp. Find a place that you can call your own. Tonight, we're not going to teach any new dances. We want to see what they've learned and how they perform. Laura Rose, she doesn't know this one. Danny's real strong. Jada's hair, isn't that not gorgeous? And it falls pretty too. First impression is what you keep with you, and so. I am here to show Kelly and Judy that I can grab their attention and make them want to watch me. is a little lost. Yeah. She does it small. Marissa's nailing it. Yeah. Marissa, you're off to a really strong start. You have a lot of style. That's who I've focused on. She has a really fun style. I'm not getting anything out of Jessica. Darian is great over there. Hold up. 
our money, I put FTW, which means fun to watch. The very first movie, the little hip hop pop, I knew, okay, she's got it. And Darian, very strong, very clean. You just seem like a very consistent and competent dancer. It gives me a lot of confidence that this night went so well, just because I think first impressions are so important. Shannon's all over the place. Ellie has some power. She'll have to get some veterans for sure. Claire, too. So, for all of y'all, Ellie and Claire really had a lot of power in that dance, and that's a good measurement for the rest of y'all to try to match the power that they're doing. Thank you, thank you, man. Come on in. Today is the day that all of these ladies have dreamt of when they finally actually get to try on the fabric of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders uniform. Well, so excited. <laughs> this uniform is world famous so much so that it's in the Smithsonian's Museum of American History. I mean, it's incredibly iconic, you know? Why, why wouldn't it be in the Smithsonian Museum? Hi, Darian. Hi. <laughs> and here I go, I'm just gonna go straight into your bra. Well, for me, it's second nature on this uniform fitting just to go straight for nipping and tucking and tying because every uniform is custom fit. Wow. This is interesting doing in gloves. Hold your breath. Ooh. <laughs> Her knot is perfect. Like, how does she do this? Does this vest look too small? I was wondering about that. The right fit on the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader uniform is pretty complex. The vest has to fit properly on the shoulders. This will be a large vest. You've got the shorts that have to fit the hips properly. Sorry, Jessica. <laughs> You're <laughs> good. <laughs> the blouse has to fit properly on the bust line. What kind of body have on? Is this, this is a push-up. I'm not blessed with the chest. Is that all you, or is that extra? No, she's got I have pants. a little bit. I have another bra. Let's change the bra and the blouse. Mackenzie, I think, topped the charts today on the most send backs. This bra is actually going to be two. I think she had three blouses and two bras, and we finally figured it out. But it is like finding the right pieces to a jigsaw puzzle. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, thank you. So exciting. A little emotional, too. It's been a crazy journey to get where I am today, but I'm super thankful and just feel crazy being in this uniform for the first time. I haven't seen this in a while. She did it backwards? Yeah, I'm like, uh, wait, I can't film this know, short. Like, Annabelle had her shorts on backwards. I was wondering why it was so low. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. <laughs> of course, me. Of course, the shorts were backwards. The uniform fittings always are my real one-on-one -on -one with the candidates. You get a, a flavor of their personality. It's definitely an impression that lasts with me. What's your ultimate goal? I want to be a lawyer for special victims. You want to be a prosecutor? Yes, ma'am. Please don't make me take it off. <laughs> I feel like after today, I'm getting to know the ladies more. In these fittings, you see the dream in their eyes. They're real people, and that puts more pressure on me. <laughs> well, the day has now come. The veterans are entering the bubble and entering the training camp process. Today, we have a guest choreographer who's created some of our timeless routines. Say hello to Denise. Denise DeSherry, who is the director for the LSU Tiger Girls. She's won many awards with that type of choreography and team. And last year, she choreographed our lead show group piece for our stage performances. The first two eight counts is just gonna be clapping, entering the field. Okay, five, six. Tonight's choreography will be fun, upbeat, confident. The stronger the movement, the better. And uh, challenge the girls, taking them out of their comfort zone from just strictly palm choreography to syncopated rhythmic dance. Sit up. Huh. Yeah, how are we doing? You good? Can we just do music so you can hear what you're dealing with? Yes, please. Okay. Stand up every time I hit the ground. Feel the pressure building inside my bones. It Learned 
this faster than I thought. Um, Cassie's struggling. Does this feel good? Yeah. If this doesn't inspire you, nothing will. And tonight when we're watching you, you'll need to be thinking about all of these seats filled with 80,000 people. Our board, 60 yards of you. So when we talk about power and projection and punctuation, this is where that makes a difference. Tonight we have some judges that you may not can see, but we do have Charlotte Jones, Executive Vice President and Chief Brand Officer, right up there on the 50-yard line. And then over in the corner, we have Melissa Rycroft back. And we have country music artist Neil McCoy back in the judging circle. So they're way up there. So when we talk about performing big, I'd be performing that high. That's what today's about. Can you entertain us in a big place? Okay, here we go. I love Marissa. Oh gosh, she's making mistakes, isn't she? Annabelle? Yeah. Well, Laura Rose is already having her own party. on that. Did you see yes. that? what Sheridan's doing style-wise. It still looks out of control. Sydney, you are finding your bigness now, and we appreciate that. You're doing things more confident. Sydney, humor us. The eight count at the beginning, you, were, you really took that to a new height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. See? And Ellie, good show. Today's show group auditions. I do think this is a very fierce year for competition. There is a lot of talent here. Only five at a time on the stage, please. Show group is a smaller elite group of dancers within our squad that performs on stages worldwide. I'm so nervous, I'm so excited. <laughs> I know it is very difficult to make the show group. I'm just so thankful to be here and be in this moment. For the first time ever, the solos that we normally see at the final round of auditions will be incorporated into our show group audition. Even when you're a veteran tonight, it's pretty nerve-wracking just because you're trying to bring your best solo possible. I'm really excited to get out there and put on a show. We all get to perform and bring our own solo and then also showcase some of the routines that we've learned so far from guest choreographers. I'm going to be telling our judges they are making two decisions today, yes or no to making the team, and additionally to pick 16 of their star performers for our show group. There's pressure and excitement on all the ladies, and there's pressure on the judges to pick the best. I love show group auditions. Show group is like the best of the best, and so we're gonna see some talent that we haven't seen in this process so far. The stage is different. 
first time kind of putting the costume, the song, the nerves, the choreo, like all together. And so it's just a lot for my heart and nerves. Hi, ladies. Hi. Today is an exciting day for us. This is where we really get to enjoy your talent, your showmanship. In addition, this will be very helpful in us picking our final team of 36. What we're gonna see today is them showcasing their talent and their craft that they've worked on their entire lives as a dancer. Ready, judges? Yeah. Yes. yes. My heart's about to pile out of my chest. Let's get this started. Yeah. Number one, Amanda. <laughs> Solos are important. Solos will showcase the great dancers, the great showmanship. A lot of the girls just draw you in with their facial expressions and their long legs and the extensions they have. That was sexy dance. Things that we don't normally get to see in the rehearsal room. Being on show group was such an honor, but it's something that you have to earn. And I really this year wanted to come with something special, something different. A little bit of hip hop, a little bit of jazz. So that's what I put my focus into tonight. Yeah, I'm known to get it crazy. Uh, got the whole club and a dance floor frenzy. Never mind if you don't feel me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, that was entertaining. Next up, please welcome Darian. Today, watching the candidates, we're going to look for who has a lot of stage presence who has more personality than they do in the dance room. <laughs> this is their one time to shine. We want them to feel comfortable tonight with what they do best. Because all we've seen so far are palm dances. So we want to see another side of their technical abilities. We will see a lot of different styles of dance. Feeling good, ready to go. Okay, okay. please welcome Armani. Oh, here we go. The solos show me who's really fun to watch. Who's engaging. Come on. Marissa, she is a little rock star in the making. Oh. Wow. Hannah Solo is the Hannah that we know. She has a whole bag of tricks of Hannah's signature moves. Okay, Hannah just finally showed up. Yeah. This relieves me a little bit that I'm seeing, at least for these 90 seconds, a stronger Hannah. Please welcome Caroline. <laughs> it. It's impressive to see great technique. This is an example of pretty feet. Wow. 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 Woo! As long as 
Sophisticated and sexy. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Meredith, last year, her solo kind of actually closed the deal for her. You could see that she was a beautifully trained dancer. This is the Meredith that I loved last year. She has beautiful legs and extension. She has beautiful, technically placed feet. Her solo is strong. We'll see how she does with the group routines. stages where I love to perform, so I really hope that they saw how strong I was hitting things and how much I really want to be here and make this team. You are a star. So good. <laughs> Announcing the show group is always exciting for us, but also I know we're going to be disappointing a few veterans. So that always kind of has a bittersweet sensation that we probably internalize when we're announcing it. Hi, everybody. Hi. We appreciate your hard work, but it was a very important night. It helps us evaluate you all in your best light, and it also helps us select the show group. Judy's going to be announcing the ladies that make the 2020 Dallas Cowboys Cheerleader Show Group. OK, first one on the show group this year is Victoria. Maddie. Amanda. Daphne. Ashley. Marissa. Caroline. Shandi. I feel great right now. I just made show group for the first time, and honestly, it was a huge surprise, so I'm really happy. Gina. Claire. And Rachel W. Hugs all the way around. Congratulations on making show group. You're all dismissed, but we'll be doing some office visits this evening. Congratulations. Did she really just say my name? <laughs> I'm just trying to make the team. I didn't expect to make something as amazing as show group and be surrounded by all these incredibly talented people. If you feel like you're starting to spin in circles, find a way to wrap it up and yeah. just be done yeah. because yeah. it's not gonna go well yeah. from there. Yeah, no. Today is media day. We are going to be interviewed um, two at a time and I have been studying hard for this, so I'm looking forward to it and I think it's gonna be a great day. We're gonna go in there together and we're gonna nail it. Yes, we're in this together. Yes. Up until today, we have been judging dance. Today, we're going to see how strong they are as communicators because the role of the cheerleader is not limited to just dance at football games. There's so much more that always involves interviews or interaction with fans. So they really have to have a very broad, pleasant communication Skill. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Today's panel includes Judy and Scott Padgett, Christy Scales, Charlotte Jones, and Brenda Teal. They are going to be interviewing the ladies and give some feedback for those that need to work on things. Hello, Shandi and Claire. If you could select partners that you'd want to go have lunch with to learn more about what they do, who would you pick? 
I would choose to sit down with Make-A-Wish because I think it's amazing that they help little girls and boys' dreams come true. And my goal as a woman, sorry, <laughs> has always been to serve people and it's just like the most amazing feeling that I could be in those shoes and help someone like that. <laughs> so emotional. <laughs> Claire, thank you for your honest and genuine approach to make a wish. Claire is a great dancer, but now she went up on my chart by seeing just how caring and genuine she seems to be. Darian, as the sideline reporter, just wants you to know that your late father, Kwame Lasseter, what an amazing player he was for the Cardinals. What was it like to be the daughter of a famous person and maybe see people come up to your dad and ask for autographs? He's not famous to me, but it's a really good feeling to know that people look up to him, and he's my inspiration and my hero. Um, I don't want to cry. I, I didn't mean to make you emotional. It's okay. I just wanted to let you know that a lot of us really uh, appreciated the way uh, he played the game. Thank you. If you are lucky enough to make this team and you do get selected, what would your cause be and why? I think my cause would be heart disease, just because that is why my dad passed. And I'm very interested in learning more about it. You know, he was so healthy. He was vegetarian, vegan, very athletic. So I want to learn more about that. And if your dad was with you today, what advice do you think he would have given you right before you walked in for these interviews? He just tells me to be confident. He's a lot of the reason I'm here because he tells me to work hard and I can do anything I want. So that would be his advice. And I'm sure he's very proud of you. Darian's interview reminded me how fragile these ladies can be sometimes and also what they've survived. It was really nice hearing about your dad and your family yeah. life and everything. Yeah. And I'm not a big crier, but I did get very emotional talking about my dad, so. It was good getting to talk about it. Yeah. Good rehearsal. Our signature routine is hard to get through, but it's gonna be very important because every game before the game starts, we're gonna see y'all performing that on the big screen. When that song comes on, everyone gets pumped up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't had a chance to see the ladies. Welcome to at and Stadium. Phil is storming into our final pink and blue meeting in classic Phil style. He's like Santa Claus. Y'all know my name is Phil Whitfield. I just want to come tell y'all I want to come show the love. Welcome to DCC Plow. I got a very special lady, though, that I want y'all to show your love to. Y'all give us all some love now. Come on, Miss Charlotte. They are seeing Charlotte for the first time, and I think it's about to get really special. Ladies, hi! I am so excited to be here with you. Welcome back to AT&T Stadium. You know, I know that everyone has had to overcome a lot of challenge and obstacles to be sitting here on this turf today. I could not be more proud of each and every one of you. We had over 1,500 applications. And now for it to be narrowed down to those of you who we see here on the field, what an incredible accomplishment. Ladies, you are the 2020 Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. So excited for you girls. This is amazing. Y'all are gonna be incredible ambassadors for the Dallas Cowboys, but you actually can't be unless you have a uniform. Phil! All right, ladies, I got some special uniforms. Handing out the uniforms to the ladies this year in particular, we are giving out uniforms against all odds. Danny. Ellie. Jada. So nice to meet you. I've been rooting for you all the way. Marissa. Mackenzie. Cindy. How cute your hair is. Thank you. Yes. Y'all look great. I'm so excited for you guys. Veterans. I think this year of all years, we are all excited to be able to give you your veteran 
highly earned, well-deserved, already danced in uniform back so that you can lead this team properly. So, Phil, come on. We did not forget anyone. Gina. Beyonce, I mean, Kat. I think the veterans are re-energized by receiving their uniform in such a special way. Guess what? We have a team! Yeah! Look what I just got. Ah! Isn't it so pretty? Yeah. I'm so excited. It says our money. It's right there. <laughs> All my hard work is paid off. It's such an emotional moment. Oh, so proud. This is one of my greatest achievements. I'm so excited. For me, this is something I've wanted since I was a little girl, so I'm kind of in shock. I keep on looking at it like, is this real? I feel amazing to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. It's so crazy to get to say that now. I'm like still shaking. <laughs> you always dream about this moment. I'm just so excited to put this uniform on finally. I can't wait. <laughs> I called my dad. He's in Japan, so it's like two in the morning there right now. And he's like, what? And I just picked this up and he just got so smiley and we both had a moment. I can't wait to put a smile on people's faces. Getting to see the ladies' emotions and excitement is so rewarding. It's payoff for everybody. I could never have imagined this in the history of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. We've only had one day to learn this routine. This is the first and the last pregame performance this entire season. Okay, we are ready from the top. This is a day that I have dreamed about since I was a little girl and for it to actually come true. I just felt every single emotion in the book. Going through training camp, there were days where I wanted to give up. Every time I would get in my head, I would stop and say, you know, Jada, you can do this. You're here for a reason. Jada, baby girl, you got it back there. I definitely learned that I'm a strong woman and if there's something I set my mind to, I can definitely achieve it. journey has been a big blessing. This has been probably the biggest accomplishment of my life. I just feel so honored to be wearing this uniform. I already feel like I have such a family and sisterhood. Get ready to ride. <laughs> oh, yeah, babe. Let's take around the world. It's what my line, family. Miami, LA, New York, Dubai. Goodbye, Japan. Family. ATL, Nashville, to the chef. There's definitely something unifying when you see them all dressed the same. Doing our signature pregame, it's a special moment for everybody involved, especially this year. I didn't even know if we'd have auditions or a training camp. We're almost there! Give it to you. And even if I could, I wouldn't turn on you. And I would stop the world for you, you know. I want to let you know.
be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader is something that I've worked so very hard for my entire life. Having to overcome so many obstacles. Your dance teacher said you'd never make it in dance. Oh. Do you believe in yourself? Use that as kind of a fire. My mom always says that you're saying no if you don't try. So just trying is the most important thing to me. moments in my career. We did it. We did it. I wish all of your parents could have seen the performance y'all just gave. It was great. Thank you. Every other year they've had the moment with their families present getting to do the signature dance. Their families don't get to share this moment. So I hope, gosh, I hate getting emotional about it, but I felt like we had to stand in for every mom and dad. I'm very proud. I hope you guys can sense that, and I hope you're proud of yourselves. This has been a truly an epic journey. We have a game in 17 days. Our plans are to be in the end zones. It's a huge stage. It's a great way to showcase your talent in a new way. To be on this team right now is against all odds. So congratulations. Very proud. There's so much that these ladies could walk away with from this experience. They've learned a great deal about being independent. From being in our bubble. Oh, wow. Being away from their families. Not even having roommates. They were on their own. Somehow, amidst all this chaos, this team this season, this training camp, will be one of my proudest moments with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I'm always impressed with these independent, fearless women that are also great performers. I will never forget this season. One, two, three, C, 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 woo! Yeah!